The Trezor Model T is the hot new cryptocurrency hardware wallet, and oh look, we've got one straight off the presses. Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Blockchain WTF. Yes, we received our Trezor Model T from the first batch that's been released. It's still in that plastic with that new hardware wallet smell. I'm so excited, I can't wait to tear into this box. We're gonna get into the good, bad, and not so ugly on everything that the Model T has to offer. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to make an informed decision about purchasing your own Trezor Model T. Just a note, we paid for our hardware device and aren't being paid for this review, so you can be sure you're getting our honest opinion on the new Trezor Model T. The Trezor Model T lays its main features out right there on the box, lets you manage all cryptocurrencies and digital identities with ease of touch, interacts securely by verifying and confirming all operations on the device screen, we'll get into more on that later, and you can experience security at no cost to your convenience. Normally people thought that you have to pick one, security, convenience, it was a trade-off. Not with the Trezor Model T. Their hashtag, security made easy. That's what this device is all about. That's its goal. Let's tear into it here. As I open the box, one of the first things that I notice, the Trezor is a little bit bigger than its predecessor, I've noticed. Anyway, you have your get started, one, two, three, connect Trezor to your computer or smartphone, open trezor.io slash start in your web browser, and then you follow your instructions on that website. What exactly comes in the package? The Trezor, a USB cable, a user manual, and recovery seed cards and some awesome stickers so you can represent Trezor. Here we go, we'll get those later. And the most important thing outside your Trezor, actually I'm gonna say it's more important than your Trezor because you lose a Trezor, it's all right. You lose your recovery seed, well anybody that has that recovery seed now has access to your funds. You can lose the device and be okay, losing the recovery seed, you're out of luck. It says, do not disclose a seed to anybody. They have a 12 word phrase that they're gonna provide for you. They have these cards conveniently with 12 spots. So you can write down your seed phrase, put this in a safe place, the safest place that you can imagine where nobody's gonna come upon it. And if you ever lose your device, you simply use the 12 word phrase that you've written down right here to recover your funds. Trezor also says, be sure not to make a digital copy because there might be some people logging your keys or spying on you somehow. Keep the most secure way is to keep this 12 seed recovery phrase on pen somewhere really, really safe. All right, now that we have our Trezor, we went over what's in the box. We're gonna go plug it into our computer and actually see what this baby can do. So let's dive into our review. So the first step, the first thing you do with your Trezor is you connect your device via USB-C to your computer. And a really cool feature to ensure security, the device won't actually connect to the computer, won't even draw power from the computer until the appropriate pin is entered, or in this case, the Trezor is set up. One of the things that catches your eye immediately, especially if you use the original Trezor, is the beautiful 240 by 240 pixel color touchscreen. The previous edition had a small dark screen that left a lot to be desired. The increased size of the Model T allows for an incorporated touchscreen used to confirm certain actions initiated by the Trezor Bridge software, which we'll get into in a minute. The look is sleek and the color touchscreen makes the device easier to use, but the lack of weight in the device and lack of protection for the screen leaves us wanting for some more robust physical features. While durability is nice, it's not the be all to end all. Just a reminder that if your device is damaged, you can simply restore your funds with the seed phrase provided to you when you install your device. So to sum it up, the device looks sleek and the large color touchscreen, great for functionality. But if we're nitpicking, we'd like the device to be, feel a little bit more durable, especially for the price tag. One of the things we love about the Trezor Model T is the setup process. The box directs you to head to trezor.io slash start website that acts as a complete guide through the install and onboarding process. Just make sure when you head over to the page to download the appropriate software. In this case, you wanna download it for the Model T if you have this device. 
This will direct you to the Trezor Beta Wallet, which is more feature rich than the Trezor Wallet software used by its predecessor. The setup process is supposed to take just minutes and our experience only affirmed that claim. Setup is easy, just make sure you know which operating system you're on and download the appropriate bridge software. Very easy, very fast, which is why the install and setup is one of the things we love about the Trezor Model T. Another thing we love about the Model T, the software used to communicate with your phone or computer. Previously to use the Trezor Wallet, you had to download a Google Chrome extension. That's not the case anymore. The Trezor Bridge software allows your device and your internet browser to communicate, and it facilitates activities like sending and receiving cryptocurrencies. The bridge is rewritten from scratch using a new code, meaning it's faster, more secure, and more reliable. Upon installing the bridge, you realize the precautions that the creators have taken in order to ensure that the Trezor Model T is tops in security. The device actually comes without firmware as the people behind the Model T, Satoshi Labs, are constantly making improvements. They make sure that the firmware installed on the device is legitimate, so if it's not, the device will on screen reject it. It will let you know that the firmware, not okay. They also use different methods of 2FA as a second means of defense, and these additional security features make the Trezor Model T the staple of security for hardware wallets. As is the case with most things, the little features make a big difference, such as having to enter a certain word to confirm that you have correctly written down your seed phrase, or that the numbers on the keyboard shift each time you have to use them, and yes, there is actually room for a zero key this time, as opposed to the first Trezor, which just would have one through nine. We obviously love the major security protocols of the Trezor, we think it's the standard, we also love those little things, those little details, really makes that device extra secure. It gives you a little bit more leeway and gives you that little bit extra peace of mind. Now, we've given you a lot of reasons to love the Trezor Model T, but playing around with the bridge, we did find a small issue. The software is yet to incorporate native support for Ethereum and ERC-20 tokens. That means you can't send and receive ERC-20 tokens using the software. However, don't let this confuse you. The device is compatible with most ERC-20 tokens. It can store them just fine. And if you ever do want to send these coins, simply head over to myetherwallet.com and log in using your Trezor Model T. Is this a weakness? Yes, but is it more than a minor convenience? Definitely not. So all in all, it's a really solid product and it's one that's easy to use, secure, and convenient, which happens to be the three points that Satoshi Labs hits on when they set out their goals for the Trezor Model T. So it pretty much hits on all the bases. Now, here's the catch. The first batch, which this came from, has gone out and all pre-orders are currently sold out. But if you head over to Trezor's pre-order page, you can sign up for a newsletter that will notify you when the next pre-order is occurring. We hope you enjoyed a review on the Trezor Model T, this guy right here. Definitely liked it. If you have any comments, questions, concerns about it, throw those down below in the comments. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to leave us a like. Also subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any future informative content. Also check out blockchain.wtf for all your cryptocurrency and blockchain information needs. This has been Jeremy from Blockchain WTF. We'll see you next time.